Hell, wait a minute. Think of it to focus. Hello, guys, and welcome to this video. Now, I am currently. Let's start this video. Let's see if we can start this video a bit better. Uh, I need a prop. This is a bit where I really hope it's in this box. Because if it's not, this prop is useless. Uh, I apologise if the autofocus on the keep going in and out. It's something I need to learn on and stuff. Still slightly getting used to this camera. Where is it? Is it in here? Is it not in that box? Aha! So where have I put this little camera? Found the prop at last and kicked the camera. So hey ho, that's a good start. So, you all might remember this little guy. This is my Sony A5000. Now, I absolutely loved using this camera as a, uh, just when I didn't want to take this big bulky uh, SLR out, I just didn't, it was a pain in the backside to take the SLR out and do stuff with it and sometimes you just want to, I'd love to try and turn that on because it's dead, but it would. It was always nice to just to have this in a bag. I, I like to call it a throw, a throw in your bag camera. A camera that you pick up, that you don't have to worry too much about changing lenses, you don't have to worry about, uh, more. it just lives in a bag. You take it out, you get your pictures off it, you're done. And that's the basic of the camera. And it was fantastic up until I broke the original lens for this. Now, I have been looking at the lens for it and thinking, is it worth getting a new lens for it and doing that? Because at the moment, I do have uh, some money I'm putting away and I'm thinking about putting on, on either a new lens for this, which I'm umming and ahhing about, or going between a Fuji X100T or an Olympus OMD uh, Mark II. They're the two cameras I'd lined up as maybe the replacement of this. Uh, the Fuji, I love the fact, fact that it's just 35 millimeters. That is it. It's a single lens. Uh, Fuji cameras are always really nice anyway. And it's just finding the right deal. Now the OMD, I like the fact that it's a micro four third, four, four third camera. I like the fact that uh, it does have the extra zoom function in the sense that it's a 40, I think the lens is a 12 to 40, but I do like having just shooting 35 millimeters, uh, because that's what I basically shoot on the Nikon um, most of the time. I normally just have my 35 on and I'm good to go. I do use my uh, portrait lens, which is my nifty 50, but it's normally my 35, because it's just so variable, especially when you're out and about doing street photography, that kind of thing. So I am very interested in uh, the two options. Now, like I said, the Fuji is small, it's light, it's compact, it's 35 mm I don't have to worry about any other lenses. The Olympus has got better video quality, better image stabilization, which is one of the things that if I did any video would be interesting and would be very handy. Uh, got the flip out screen, all that. All the usual gubbins you get with it. They both do video. Uh, and it's one of the ones that I'm very interested. I'm intrigued by it. And it's going to all come down to see which one I can get the better deal on. Uh, at the moment, I am kind of swinging towards the Fuji. I just like that form style. That kind of go out street shooting. Not looking competitive. Because the problem I've got with this is that it's that I'm having to do that and look at this green. There's something about it being small and going like that, taking your picture, walking away, got your street photography picture, done. And it's something I want, I want to do more of that. I like the idea of having a little camera because uh, it's not going to replace my big camera. That isn't something that's going to happen. It's just I do like having a small form camera. I know everyone got will say, uh, you've got an iPhone, use that. Personally, I'd rather just... my. My iPhone is snapshots. My camera's a compositioning photographs and that kind of thing. I'd rather just had something that I can fling in a bag 
I know it's there, it's got a protective case on or whatever. Pull it out, take the lens cap off, take the photograph that I want to compose it, get my settings right, take the picture, go. And with this, you don't really get that because you've got to get it out, get your lens back on, or have your lens on, and just okay, fine, shut off. Uh, <laughs> and you've got to you've got to do all that, and it's just complicated, and it just something I'm not like I don't like. I'd rather just have a small compact camera on me and then go from there. But I will talk more about this and let you know what I think. I got a long way before I can actually afford uh, the two cameras I want anyway. So uh, I want to look at So I'll talk about it in the next couple of months, but that's probably what I'm going to do. But thank you for watching this video. I know it's not football related and some of you will be like a bit annoyed by that. But I do like doing different things on my channel because at the end of the day, it's my channel. Anyway guys, enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whatever it is and I'll speak to you in the next one.